what is up guys today we're going to be doing a tier list on the best operator in rainbow six siege but based only on their weapon so it's a weapon tier list we're doing a weapon tier list today for year seven season four aka operation solar raid aka solo season so we're gonna get to it we're gonna do it attackers and defenders based only on their weapons no utility no gadgets nothing that's their weapon we're comparing attackers to attackers and defenders to defenders so let's say i put sledge at beats here i put mute at beats here. that means that that doesn't mean their guns are the equal that just means on the attacking lineup i put sledge at b and for the defending lineup i put sledge uh mute at b all right let's get to it sledge this gun l8 nothing wrong with it it's a pretty good gun there are better guns but it is a very good reliable gun in almost every aspect of the game factor same gun you have the ar as well but i think the ar is slightly worse speaking of the ar we're gonna have flores who has that ar variant that thatcher also has i think that gun is a little bit worse than the l8 overall so i think it's gonna go a little bit lower boom beats here now we have mute mute has a shotgun and an smg 11 which is good combinations of weapons or mp5 the mp5 is very mid but the shotgun smg 11 combo is high tier so i'm going to put that shotgun combo at the eighth tier i don't think it's necessarily the best in the world but it is really really strong smoke is going to be at the a tier as well you have the fmg 15 variant which is pretty good honestly but you also are smoke and a lot of people are going to expect you to be shotgun sg 11 combo as the mute honestly i do want to put them up in the s tier because actually i will I'm going to put these weapons at the S tier because I feel like this combination is a winning combo for almost any site and you can do fairly well with these with this combo. So I feel like that they're going to be S tier. Smoke, mute. I mean, you make rotates. You have a gun for long range. You've gun for close range. Everything you have is just amazing. So Ash, Ash, in terms of weaponry, I'm putting Ash at the A tier. G36C is honestly a B tier gun in my eyes. But uh, the R4C is an A tier gun, so I'm I'm going for A tier. Thermite's five five six. Uh, actually, if it's just R4C, I, I put I put the R4C at S. Actually, that's that's gonna be the threshold. Ash's R4C is at the bottom of S. So anything that I consider better than Ash's weapon is going to be an S tier. So stay tuned. Thermite, because I, I I couldn't put Ash with, with Thermite. I I couldn't do that that way. Uh, castle, you have the one five on the UMP. Uh, I was, I'm gonna just put eight here. These guys go eight here because for defenders, one five scope UMP is honestly extremely powerful. I don't know if you guys have used these, but uh, the only downside is the fire rate is a little poopy. Damage is good, very stable, and you have a one five scope, so you can like snipe people. So I personally think they're eight here. It could be. B tier, but I'm not sure. Twitch, A tier, easy F2, F2 all day. Um, F2 is an amazing weapon, probably one of the best guns in the game, so definitely S tier. And I muted Paul Alex there because how are you watching the VOD? You're literally in a Discord call with multiple people right now. One of you subbed it's a little cringe so i don't, don't want to hear your excuses all right monte i mean monte just has a pistol and a shield are we including the shield or are you including like the pistol shield combo in terms of, uh, I'm, I'm including the pistol shield combo in a one-on-one -on -one. so the pistol shield combo i'm gonna put it b tier i'll put blitz there as well not including the ability just being able to get up close melee or use your pistol i feel like that is a b tier like it's pretty strong, but it is very easy to counter and it's definitely not great, but it's pretty good. Uh, Doc MP5, as well as P90. I feel like the P90 is pretty good, but it is a little, it's a little wacky and it can be hit or miss. So the MP5 and the MP90s are both beats here in my eyes with the, with the scope additions on these three armors. I feel like there are better options in terms of just firepower actually no just this are guns i'm going to put eights here because their, gun, their guns are solid you run mp5 or p90 both have scopes other operators aren't going to have those scopes mp5 so i think these guys are, are great speaking of which let, let's do malusi right now 
Lucy, I'm going to place in terms of raw weaponry and firepower at C tier. She's three armor now, and she has a gun that does not have a scope. E90s with scoped MP5s. 1X MP5. And the MP5 is not even that good of a gun. It's just only because they have scopes. So, Blast, I'm talking just the sniper rifle and not because of the thermal. With the thermal, it's obviously better. But without the thermal, it's not great. With the thermal, I would probably place glass like around B to A tier. But then, then you're bringing in terms of like utility, how good glass, like we're doing just guns. Glass is D tier, that gun is ass. You don't bring that gun be because of any other reason besides being able to see people light up. That means Solus has to be A tier too? That's a good question, let's do Solus. No. Solus's guns are not that great compared to Doc and Rook because the Solus does not have a, a scoped in P90. But where Solus is strong is Solus does have an SMG 11 as backup and your ability is really strong. But just in terms of raw weaponry, you have a P90 and an SMG 11. Or a shotgun, the primary shotgun. The primary shotgun is ass. At seven meters, clo like close range, you can't put people down. Like it's not a good, it's not a good shotgun. I never suggest using it. So P90, and SMG 11, and it's not a scope P90. Like you do have the SMG 11 though, so you could run that shotgun SMG 11 hybrid. But I feel like in terms of raw weaponry, Solos is beats here. I, I've never been killed by a solo so far and th thought, wow, that Solos' guns are crazy good. Like, out, like when I think like Alibi or Oryx. No, Solos is never really outgunning people. Solos is just positioning well because of their ability normally. So, beats here. You can fight me on that one if you want. I just don't think that P90 with a 1X is really that good. I've used it. I, I don't think it's amazing. It's a pea shooter. Gotta get a headshot. And <coughs> I just I just don't see it working very well most of the time. I feel like they're just overall better options. And we're talking just guns. We're not talking about speed of operators. We're not talking about the utility of operators. We're talking about just raw weaponry. I don't see you using a P90 and an SMG 11. You're using one or the other. And like the second the other shotgun is horrible. It's it's a horrible shotgun. If the shotgun was better, the shotgun SP11 combo might go hard, but <coughs> it just doesn't fuse. Don't even have to think about it. You get the S tier, along with the Ace S tier. Just weaponry. They have the AK. The AK was nerfed, but the AK is still a stupid strong gun. Even with a nerf, who cares? Like, it went from 45 damage to 40. Still good fire rate. Still good recoil pattern. Still really strong. So, S tier, I believe. Capkin, easy S tier. That gun is great. It has a 1.5 scope. Easy peasy. Uh, no 1.5 scope, and you have the LMG. I'm going to place the chunk at the B tier because the, the that gun is good. The 9x19 is pretty solid. It has a little bit of bounce to it. It's a little wacky, and the, um, his other LMG is just kind of an oddball gun. I'm going to place at, at B not really think about it. IQ S tier. Uh, A tier, just slightly out of S tier range. Actually, I thought about it for a second because I'm going to place the Amaru at the S tier because Amaru has the scoped G8. IQ does not have that, and Amaru also has the SMG 11. So I compare these two, uh, two ops very closely because they kind of have the same type of weaponry. So. Jaeger, S tier. I've never had a complaint about Jaeger's gun, personally. I don't know about you guys, but that gun is great. In terms of taking a straight up firefight, Jaeger's always nice to, you know, have. The only problem with Jaeger is, I mean, no impacts, no nitro. You can't make sight rotates or anything. Your mobility is really lowered, but Jaeger's just one on one ability with his gun, pretty strong. And it as well. That gun is great. The MP7 is great. Buck, this is where it starts to become tricky because we're not talking skeleton key, obviously. We're talking just a straight up raw gun. 
I want to place his gun at A tier, personally, because that gun is recoily, and like said, will just get better with it. Like, you, when people like do like a run out on Clubhouse, and you have that gate gun, it's so hard to land the shots on that guy while they're just hitting laser beams on you. Like, it's just, it's not a very good long range gun. It's a very good close range gun, but long range, you are very much lacking. That's why I'm going to place the Bucks gun at the A tier. Close range S tier, long range B tier. So, A tier. Browse gun, easy S tier in my mind. That gun is great. I didn't even have a one fighter scope and is extremely stable. I think this is one of the best guns on defense personally, because you can get shots on anyone, anywhere, and they are getting hurt really bad. Blackbeard, just a gun with no shield. D tier. Horrible fire rate, horrible damage. It's not that great. Nothing really special about it. Just because you have a shield in front of your face. You don't have as Blackbeard. Valk. MPX, I'm going to place at the C tier with the Malusi. That headshot or die. It's it's just that same type of thing. The reason why Solus is ahead of Malusi and Valkyrie because the guns are very similar. Solus' gun is slightly faster and has more bullets. The, the, these are all P shooters, but Solus has more bullets coming out. These do not. Not that you can't do work with these guns, don't get me wrong. You can do work. It's just, you gotta hit the shot. The zombie at the B tier, that gun's great. Tie with Tachanka there. Gun's great. I mean, nothing really bad with it, but no scope, so. Gavito is a little bit more of an oddball up. Uh, I'm gonna place Capito at the B tier for his para. I feel like it's a decent gun, but it's. Just lack luster for. I feel like it recoils more than, like, let's say, Pledge or Thermite. So I'm going to place it slightly under them. It's definitely not A tier in my eyes. Cav. So we are including Cav's pistol that does high damage because it's not necessarily her ability. It is a gun that she has. It's not her ability. Her ability is a silent step. And she has a shotgun or the SMG. The SMG is horrible. The shotgun is decent. You can get a lot done with that shotgun. And the pistol is good, but they're both close range guns. So I'm going to place Kavera at the C tier because it is more of a kind of a weird op. Like you have to really rely on your positioning and less on your gun ability. No. So. Uh, floor is Montaigne. Well, I'll place the Blitz in the floor. Uh, sorry, the Blitz in the Monty at C tier. I'm not going to place him in D tier because I, I can still do work with a pistol and, and a, a shield, even without an ability. But yeah, they, sh they shouldn't be with that. You're right. I, I did those too early. I'm going to place them here. I'm not placing them D tier. It's, I don't. I feel like they're both superior to these two guys. Like You can do a lot more with these two without abilities. At least you can without abilities. Just guns. This is only guns. Ibana. A lot of people rate Ibana's guns really high, but I want to place Ibana lower because I don't like that gun. But she also has a Barry 9, so I'm going to place Ibana's guns at A tier. On paper, her guns are pretty good, but I don't like Ibana's guns personally. I would place Ibana's guns personally at B tier, but the Barry 9 combination with a 20 bullet gun that does high DPS really quickly. It's a good combination, so I'm, I'm gonna place Hibana at the A. Uh, Hibana, uh, Amaru has amazing weapons. Glad's based on everything. I have a tier list uh, on YouTube already about operators based on everything, so hit that up. Uh, Echo. One five with these two guys, but you have a better secondary. I don't think that really matters. I because I feel like I feel like that's fine. Echo's gun is really good, and you have a Barry Nine as backup, so the Amaru's kit is goddamn stupid. Like in terms of just raw weaponry, that's not even a question. Amaru is almost at the Amaru should almost be at the top of the list. Jackal, the gun was buffed too. Jackal is easily at A tier. Is Jackal S tier?
I think Jekyll's S tier because that shotgun secondary definitely takes him up a, a notch a little bit. You have a good, really good primary weapon and you have a shotgun for lines of sight. And, you know, if you have to rely on it, I mean, you can kill somebody with it. Not a good secondary in terms of like, you know, damage and taking someone out, but good utility. So I, I think Jackal's okay at S. Mira's Vector. Easy A tier for me. Honestly, I kind of want to place Mira at the S tier personally. Only reason why I'm not is because Goyo exists and Goyo has a 1 5 on it. Uh, I want to place Mir at S tier personally. I think the Vector, just the Vector by itself, is just a really, really good gun. But it is a P shooter, but it's a really stable P shooter. Oh, oh, I think this is okay. Ying. Ying's raw DPS is lower than most. But you do have more ammo. It's definitely not anything lower than eights here. Could be higher. You could you could try to make an argument for this if you if you really wanted to, like I, why you could be S here. But I'm gonna place at the eights here for now. Dove's gun eights here. Good damage. Recoil is manageable. And just uh, not the LMG. The LMG is no. Dove is. Pretty strong. I, I like that gun a lot in terms of fragging capabilities. Does good damage, fire rate, everything. A tier. I feel like it's slightly under S. So let's do Finca because we have the Finca Sophia LMG kind of, you know, whatever. This may be a little bit of a hot commodity for a lot of you guys. And I don't know how you guys feel about this, but this is how I feel. And you guys are trying to make an argument about why I'm wrong here, but. People pick Finca for the heals. And, you know, that's it. You don't pick Finca for, because our guns are good. The guns are horrible. Worst attacker weapons by far in the entire attack lineup. The spear is recoiled as all hell with a 1.5 scope. And the LMG is close to unusable. There's so many better options on the attack lineup in terms of raw weaponry that I just think that Finca just sits so far in the back like Blackbeard status. Yeah. Let's talk about another weird attacker. We have the Doke. Doke, I'm going to put at the B tier. Good secondary options, but you do have a DMR as a primary. And that's, you can't have an AR. And DMRs are always just limited. The only reason why Doke is an, Doke's still an amazing op, don't get me wrong. But it's more for the ability than it is for the DMR. If anyone could trade any of the other guns at A tier and up to Doke, Doke would be OP as hell. So that's why you don't do that. But the DMR is lackluster in my ass. It's good. Speaking of which, Aruni has a DMR. But guess what? Aruni has a DMR on defense. That changes it a little bit. Now it's an S tier. But Sinva, what's the difference? Well, a DMR on attack is lackluster because you're comparing it to all the ARs. The ARs are really good. They do a lot of damage already. They have higher mag capacities and the fire rates are usually slower so whatever but a rooney compared to defenders high fire rate guns normally with low damage a rooney has a high damage gun with slow fire rate it's not normal and you know it's those people off really hard so i i definitely think the dmr is way better on defense than it is on attack Doke is really strong on attack, don't get me wrong. I mean, look at my normal tier list. It'll be down in the description down below. This is based purely off of weapons compared to the attack to attack and defenders to defenders. And I think the DMR just falls away side a little bit. Legion, P5, this is very easy for me to do. That gun is amazing. Honestly, I kind of want to put up a tier personally. In fact, I will. I, I just think that this the T5 is just an amazing gun. Even with a one one X, I, I don't even care. Like I, I'll fight you over it. Orlox has the same gun with a one five. I mean, <laughs> easy. I just think that gun is just broken in any capacity that you can use it. It's like an MP five, but buffed everything. Recoil is about the same. The fire rate is a hundred higher, and damage is higher. It's like it's basically the MP five just ejected steroids. No. So. Ella, Ella's gun actually got a pretty good 
buff, but I don't know how good it is right now, but I used it recently and I'm going to place Ella's gun at A tier. Like it, it isn't as bad as a lot of people think. It has 40 bullets, fast fire rate. It's a pea shooter, but the recoil isn't as bad as it was before. So you'd be surprised. I I, I think that Ella sits safely at the A tier with that gun. I want to do Alibi because I just did Oryx. Alibi's gun is still S tier, guys. That storm is broken. And you have a Bailiff's a shotgun backup, like, like you know, whatever. The storm is great. The storm is amazing. Yeah. Even without the 1.5 scope. Obviously, I think Oryx has a superior gun overall now, but I feel like Alibi is still really strong. Even with a 1X. I'm not, I'm, honestly, the guns are pretty similar. Yeah. Vigil. That K1A, I've never had a lot of success on. It can be good, but <coughs> it just strikes me as a weaker defender weapon. I don't know why. It's okay, but it doesn't have a 1.5 scope. Secondary backup for Vigil is great, so like I, I'm almost considering Vigil as an S tier weaponry, but I just think the K K1A shines enough. Lion. Easy eights here. I feel like there are better guns in just raw DPS. 50 bullets, stable. I mean, you can't go wrong with Lion's gun, but at the end of the day, it's it's I feel like it's just eights here. Osa, same weapons as PDW and then Thermite's a 556. Five, so PDW versus <laughs> Jackal's main weapon. I feel like PDW is is pretty strong. But it's not as strong as Jackal's primary. In certain situations, it can be as strong. It, it's really hard. I, I think the PDW personally is an A tier weapon. And the 5.56 is also an A tier weapon. I'm, I'm going I'm to stick to my guns. I'm, I'm leaving it on that. Maestro, in terms of raw weaponry, guys, listen, in terms of raw weaponry, I don't, this is assuming his gun wasn't nerfed with the Finca and the Zofia, which I don't think it was. In terms of raw weaponry, Maestro has probably, arguably the best weapon on defense. He also has a Bailiff. Am I wrong? That, that, that thing is a monster. And fire rate, damage, and bullet capacity. Like, it's just amazing. In terms of raw weaponry in a 1v1 fight, <laughs> Speed doesn't matter. Utility doesn't matter. I think S here. Deep. I said uh, the T5 is just that good that they're both up there. Maverick's gun. I feel like Maverick's gun is more the B tier. I feel like it is a little bit more lackluster than some of the A tier weapons. It, it's okay. It's great. But... It's just another reason why Maverick is just kind of a lower tiered operator. It's just not an amazing gun in any in any real way. Flash, shield without ability and the second and the primary weapon. I mean, you pick Clash because you want to use that ability and keep it back. Like I, I, there's, I can't realistically do Clash. Come on, Cali, sniper rifle, <coughs> and. Secondary weapon. People pick Kali because of her guns, anyways, even without using her ability. I think that Kali is at B tier, personally. You have a okay secondary. It's pretty good. It's a good backup, like you can use. And you have a sniper that puts everybody down to any type of shot. This between her and Glass is Glass, you're going to have to hit them multiple times. And without thermal. Let's just say without thermal. Kali. One time they're gone. Just have to hit, line up the shot. Body shot, they're gone. Nomad ARX with a 1.5 scope. Pretty good gun. I think that that is an A tier weapon. I personally want to put Nomad a little bit higher. In fact, you know what? This is my tier list. Nomad's S tier. ARX, the 1.5 with a vert grip. I'm sorry. There's a reason why Ayana was so strong for so long and her ARX was nerfed. <laughs> but boom there you go ayana this is gonna be a little bit of a tricky topic i love ayana but g36 and arx the 1x 
I feel like there are better options for weapons, but you pick Ayana normally for the all overall package of having grenades and being fast. In terms of just raw weaponry, Ayana does fall a little bit. <coughs> That's how she was balanced currently. Like, her guns are slower. Cade. Cade, I'm, I'm sitting very strong on this because I used to be a Cade man. D tier. His shotgun TCSG is just. It's a horrible DMR. You can get it to work, but it's just hard. And the AUG is just another MP5 variant that's slow. I mean, it's. Without a 1.5 in anymore. With the 1.5, Cade's like A to B, but without the 1.5 on that, I mean, you're, you're using TCSG or 1.5 uh, or 1X AUG. So I think Cade sits. It's gridlock. Gridlock A tier, easy. Honestly, I want to put Gridlock higher. <coughs> Gridlock's guns are great. Just people just don't play Gridlock. The, Gridlock has a ton of options in terms of weapons. You have a good LMG. You have a good. Uh, I'm not sure what that gun's called. I, I know you, I, I used to use it a lot though, but the uh, A tier for sure would be higher. But I'll just leave Gridlock at the A tier because Gridlock is kind of a top, anyways. Mozzie, one five scope, Roni, you need a, the, a lot of DPS really quickly. You can only usually deal with one enemy at a time and pre-firing is really hard with that gun, but one-on-one, -on -one, that gun does hold your own pretty strong. F90, okay, thank you. Knock. Don't have to think about that one. Let me explain why Knock's a D tier. <coughs> Let's say in an imaginary world, you're trying to pick an operator and you're just like, I want someone that I can shoot people. I want the best gun I can possibly get. Knock is the last thing you think. You have a Defender's 1.5 scoped FMG. The FMG, don't get me wrong, is a strong gun, but it got nerfed a little bit. And any AR, any AR is stronger than the, F, the, than the FMG. Any AR, pick, pick a random one, I don't care. It's stronger than the FMG. You're picking knock for grenades and silent movement. Give a new attacker good luck. Oh yeah, give it give a new attacker good luck. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I agree. <coughs> Warden S tier. Don't even think about it. That MPX with a 1.5 scope. That begs the question: Why is Valkyrie so low? It is a P shooter. It is a P shooter. Valkyrie could necessarily be higher up on the list. In fact, I will move Valk up as well as Malusi. Because I placed Warden so high, I forgot about Warden for a little bit. But because Warden is so high, I will move these two up. Because variants of those guns are mostly fine. But the, the 1.5 scoped is amazing. This is a great gun. Well, my easy S tier, that AUG is great. It is an attacker weapon for a reason, but he's a defender. So, uh, it's good. Biggest spear is horrible. Yes. Warren is secondary SMG. It's true. Like, he, he, Warren has a lot of shit. Like, Warren is just really good. Zero. Oh, I'll place zero at eight tier. Guns are really good, but I, I'm trying to make an argument that zero S2 weaponry. I, I can't do it. I can't think of one. <coughs> Thunderbird. The spear was buffed slightly from what I remember. I'm going to place Thunderbird at 8 tier. So why is Thunderbird so much higher than Finca? Well, attacker AR, but on defense. Thunderbird, I, I, I think it got nerfed to a point where it's not S tier, but it's still pretty good. I feel like S A tier is good for Thunderbird. You could argue that it could be higher, but one five MP seven, yeah, but one five MP seven is on an S tier weapon. I'm sorry, you you you're a smoking loco. You think the MP seven with a one five is an S tier weapon compared to other attacker ARs like Twitch or Jackal, an Ace? No, no. Thorn. I'm gonna play Thorn at S tier because I think Thorn's gun is probably. Arguably the best 1x gun on defense. 
and you have a good secondary option so since <coughs> don't really need to think about this one that's as easy seats here could be lower but there's a lot of dog shit in d tier since these guns are not great they're they're very mid they're very mid brim where's iq at with iq that high for the commando and and the g8 Brim doesn't have a 1.5 scope and that drastically hurts this gun because there's so many other options on attack that have 1.5 plus options. Brim is C tier for just having a commando that's with a 1x, it's kind of whatever. Is it to this? Weapons only. No abilities. No abilities. No abilities, no gadgets, no, nothing besides just their raw weapons. BB is S here. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. All right, guys, that is it for today. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you want to make an argument about who should move up or down based on only their weapon, uh, leave that down in the comments below and uh, I'll discuss it with you. Uh, until next time, make sure to comment and uh, throw us up. Until next time.